Hey Nancy, we're talking about good kids today. We are talking about good That's kids today. That's the name today. of the show. That's the name of the show, Good Kids. Well, I'm glad. We need good kids. Well, this is probably not oh, that show okay. then for you. All right, well, let um, me have a drink. Well, here. I mean, I don't, I can't, sort of, that's sort of open for discussion. So it's called Good Kids. It is mm. written by Naomi Izuka. It's directed by Lisa Jackson Shibeta and Kimberly Griffin, co-directors. Mm -hmm. um, and it is playing at the University of Pittsburgh Stages. Um, that's in, in the, the downstairs. Yeah, it's in the Stephen Foster. Charity Randall yeah, a, thing. Yeah. Or, well, or, I call it Stephen Foster, but I think wait, it's wait, called wait, 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 Okay, so there's two theaters in there. Which one is the Charity Randall? That's I the think upstairs? the upstairs. Okay. The downstairs, I think, is called Henry Heyman Theater. You're right. Which, is, uh, which, when I went to college, was just a big open room a long time ago. How far we've come. How far we've come. So, um, good kids. Um, I'm going to go with sort of my uh, note on it. So here's the technical note of what the show is. It is social influences leading good kids mm. to assault a classmate and post and share in social media the event. Uh, oh, okay. Right. And it is based on, uh, to some degree, the Steubenville football players in Ohio that mm. raped the girl and who had passed out. So this must be a new, very new play. It's it is very a very new play. Yes, okay. it's a very new play. And it was written part of the Big Ten Theater Consortium commissioned are, are commissioning playwrights um, to it's called the new play initiative and it is established to commission a program to support female playwrights and provide female theater students and professional actors with strong roles and there's many women in this production so and there's there's I think five guys but I think there's seven or eight women so um, so it's part of that new play uh, Big Ten Theater Consortium project and this is the first play of that and this is clearly about an issue that is going on currently and um, in the news a lot because of social media mm. because of how it's not just that there weren't assaults on campuses it's that now those same good kids um, don't think anything about posting it and putting it out there for all the world to see yeah. traumatizing the victim forever besides being actually caught from it, which is how I think those Steubenville boys were caught, mm -hmm. is that they posted it and someone saw it. The story is Chloe, who was played by Brianna Wagner, who I love, who was in Stop Kiss, the first show I reviewed, oh, yes, yes. and Dog in the Manger. She's brilliant. She um, She's the girl who gets a little drunk and um, is at a party with good kids, who she doesn't really know anybody there, and she leaves with these four or five football players oh, and is assault, right mm -hmm. and is assaulted and then the play sort of unfolds on her perspective and her side or he said she said what happened different yeah. perspectives but it's still all the other people around not doing anything either like you know there's their ver the guy's version which is eh, she was drunk she wanted it she was flirting and then there's the girl's side which is she was passed out you did these things to her and she was passed out and you put it on social media. Yeah. So the cool thing about the set is there are these long signs, that, they look like they were glass, with hashtag words on it like hashtag bad behavior or hashtag she was where she I was asking for it or mm -hmm. hashtag. So that was sort of always in the background of what you're thinking. Um, and it was really good sound and then there's actually a part where she doesn't really know she passed out she wasn't sure what happened and she goes to youtube which i'm not even sure would 100 percent have been on there still but the you hear the assault she's watching it but we're only we're hearing it and it was really really powerful and upsetting at the same time um so um it, it was interesting i think the point of the play for her was to spark conversation and dialogue when you left and it did it did for me. Um, what could we do? What should we do? What could any of those people in that situation have done to help her? Maybe her friend who drove her there could have said, you know what, you're drunk, let's go. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe that was her, you know, it's, it, it, it definitely sparks a conversation. Um, and it, I know it's a really hard thing to like <laughs> review. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, what else do I want to say? What happens in that situation? 
and and the other thing that was really great was so, oh so the lighting and sound design because that was really you know it's all everybody has a phone and everybody's always popping things up and uh. everybody's carrying that around and talking about it. and there's sort of this social uh, the moral voice who is the one who's friends with one of the guys who actually calls the police and says hey this is what they did um, so there's a lot of social media things going on with their phones and laptops and there's a one of the actors is in a wheelchair and she's sort of telling the story too the lighting was really great so the lighting designer uh oh did I write it yeah, lighting designer anime Anna Marie Dugan and the scenic design Gianna Downs and they it was really well done that way technically you know because it's such a social media uh, that we're seeing that yeah. it was done really well so kudos to them for that uh rel it, okay so to sum up the show in one clear concise sentence which i'm not known for concise uh relevant and emotional production with excellent technical design and standout performance brianna wagner but i don't know you know have you ever thought about what social media and that kind of it's so different from my generation of being at a party and getting drunk in college and not really thinking about, well, nobody will know or nobody saw that or nobody did this or who will know what those guys did or didn't well, do. Well, everybody sees everything now because everybody has a camera. Mm -hmm. And this is why I'm dumbfounded that nobody's captured Bigfoot. But now, Everybody's got everything on camera. I'm like, well, if he was out there, he surely somebody would have gotten something by no. now. Have you noticed Bigfoot sightings have gone down? He's not because he's really because they're there. probably filming it and realizing, oh, it's a bear or it's you know Uncle Larry. There's no embarrassing pictures because my college days are done. And uh, well, back then it was this big flashbulb camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back then you knew when someone was taking Polaroids. It. Have you ever have you ever Googled yourself? And I'm talking about the internet. 